at 2 in the morning, I had the strangest thing happen to me. I literally thought that I was gonna die. <laughs> Good morning you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. For the ones that are new, my name is Maria. Today is Thursday and I just finished dropping off my son. And I'm gonna tell you about this experience that I had last night. I'm just gonna get right into it. Last night, I was having trouble falling asleep. So I would wake up and fall asleep, wake up and fall asleep, right? And it happened several times throughout the night but i remember that at two in the morning i had the strangest thing happen to me i felt my brain shaking i had never experienced that before and it's scary i'm gonna try and give you an idea of how it felt let's just say this is the brain right i feel like it just started doing this and I was asleep. I remember I tried to open my eyes, but I couldn't open them. I literally thought I was gonna die. So when all this was happening, I said to myself, so this is how people die in their sleep. I guess this is how I'm gonna die. And then I started praying for forgiveness. I wasn't praying for God to wake me up. I was praying for forgiveness, for him to forgive my sins, you know, because I really felt like I was going to die. And once I started praying and asking God to forgive my sins, boom, I opened my eyes. My brain wasn't shaking anymore. I was just scared. I couldn't go back to sleep. Well, I did go back to sleep, but after like two hours, I went back to sleep like for 30 minutes. But I was scared to go back to sleep. I had never experienced that. And... It's a very scary feeling. I don't know what caused it. I'm not sure if it was the coffee that I was drinking before going to sleep. You know how sometimes when something happens, you go and Google the symptoms, what causes certain things. Well, that's what I did. This morning I went to Google and I started researching what causes my brain to shake while falling asleep. It ended up being linked to anxiety and I just kind of like started thinking. I don't feel like I have anxiety but like I check some of the boxes for it but I don't want to think about me having anxiety I feel like a lot has to do with your brain and your thoughts and controlling your thoughts and maybe it's just like sometimes you just don't want to face some situations anyways that's what I felt and that's what the research said I don't know. So that was my night. It was so hard for me to get up this morning. I was so tired and I'm still tired, but you know, I have to do some stuff today. But I got a cafe right there in McDonald's because I wanted to wake up, you know. I got things to do. Hola, buenos días. Hoy es el día sábado. Hoy es el día más caliente del año so far. So, it's really hot. We are hosting the Canelo's fight. So, I'm excited about that. Ya me lo va a hacer ahora que empiecen a llegar. And we're still not ready. Nena's working on the setup. En el living room no cabemos mucho. Está pequeña la sala. So, lo vamos a hacer afuera. And hay bastantes mosquitos. I hope they go easy on us. Agarré un off spray. Todavía no me pongo. Let me show you the peach tree. Miren, el arbolito de duraznos. Creo que no van a crecer tan grandes este año. Pero ya están listos para comer. They're so cute. Hi, Mini. Say hi to the vlog. No voy a cocinar this time porque I really, really enjoy watching the fight. Quiero relajarme y ver la pelea. I did ask everyone to bring their own snacks. And I'm gonna melt some cheese para los que quieran ponerle queso a sus chips. They can go ahead and do that. Y también voy a poner a hacer café porque my family loves coffee. I don't know if I'm gonna drink coffee today because it's pretty hot outside, but I know my family is gonna want coffee, especially my dad. He loves coffee. It's too hot. Like literally, if I would have done my makeup, it would have already been dripping. It's hot and humid. If you live around the Houston area, you already know what I'm talking about. It's so hot and so humid. Hay mucha luz, so the projector is not not showing that well. Hasta ahorita que que oscurezca poquito se va a poder ver. Sí. He's been working hard setting this up. Yeah. Do y'all know my dog has a middle name? Se llama Mini Patricia. I know she's Mexican, so she has to have a second name. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me dim out the lights de afuera.
So we're here eating at Buena Man Hot Cheetos with cheese. What are you eating, babe? My dad. Say hi. Hi. And my father-in-law. <laughs> And I'm sipping on my drink, it's the maracuya. So we bought la lleva bien, ¿verdad? ¿Qué piensas? Que se llama el siguiente día so it's currently mother's day and ya va a ser ya son las nueve de la noche so it's almost over with pero hoy to do an update no levanté la cámara pero nos las pasamos muy bien we went over to my mother-in-law's house todo estuvo muy bonito she cooked menudo and it was delicious like always pero Ahorita ya es la noche y vinimos por unos tacos. Me trajo los tacos. I love tacos, you guys. Ahí está el taco, está en atrás. Se llama El Borrego. También quiero decir algo. Cuando empezó el first round de la pelea del canelo, yo me tuve que ir a levantar a mi hijo del trabajo porque ya iba a salir. By the time I got back, it was already on the eighth round. So, sí me perdí bastantito de la pelea. Cuando dijeron que ganó mi ball, it caught me of guard. I was like, what? I was shocked. Tuvo diferente esta pelea porque siempre gana Canelo. En los últimos rounds que sí alcancé a ver, noté que, que sí, you know, it was pretty even. The world was pretty good. Also, another update about yesterday. Todo tuvo muy bonito. Food is here. There were tacos, frijoles, charros. Ay, I love you. See? I can tell he loves me. Me trajo los tacos on a date. Right, babe? Course. Back then, in those early days when me and him really started dating, nosotros vinimos a este taco stand. Veníamos y comíamos aquí en el parqueadero. Mm, frijoles. Thank you, babe. Look, you guys. Mm. Look at my tacos. Okay, let me pay first. Mm. All right, ahora sí. A probarlos. By the way, mis tacos tienen, son de fajita con aguacate, queso derretido en cebolla asada con limón y salsa verde. O oh, y cilantro y cebolla. Look, you guys. Mm. Good morning, you guys. Hoy es lunes. Acabo de dejar al niño a la escuela. And guess where I'm at? Vine al Starbucks, but it's not just any Starbucks. It's a brand new Starbucks. Que apenas me di cuenta que lo abrieron, pero yo ni, yo ni sabía. Cuando pasé por aquí, yesterday I noticed that there was a Starbucks closer to my house, and I got so happy. Y dije, voy a levantar un café. Hi, were you ready to order now? Ah, uh, yes. Oh my god, está nuevecito. El pavimento está blanco. I'm just so happy. It's super close by the house now. So I'm Starbucks rich, you guys, because ayer my brother sent me a gift card. Y es una tarjeta de $50 para usar en Starbucks. I'm like, oh 
get some Starbucks rich. Once I got it, I was like, okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna go do tomorrow. You look at me and I said, and it's so close to my house. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> Aquí está mi café. Thank you, Andres. Thank you so much. You made me so, so, so happy. Oh my God, the sun's in my eyes. Of course, of course I freaking broke my straw. I should have replacements for it. Ta -da! This might be from Starbucks too because se ve como el que ellos dan. I hope it's not broken. Cheers. What's up, you guys? Hola. Hoy es martes. Oh my bad, I'm trying to fix my hair. I know I look crazy. Hoy es martes. And to catch up, you guys, on Mother's Day, I did not spend Mother's Day with my mom because they decided to go out of town. And they had como un día de... Well, I think they went to a river. So I didn't get to spend Mother's Day with my mom. So mi dad nos quiere sacar a mi mamá, a mi hermana y a mí. A comer para el Día de las Madres. This was not planned, you guys. Una cosa que some people don't know about me. I can literally not pay attention to my phone. I had like 15, 16 missed calls and I don't know how many messages. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I read the messages first and then I realized that they're trying to go eat. And they're trying to get a hold of me, but I'm not picking up. All right, so I made it. My mom, Kayla, the mom to be. We are not celebrating Mother's Day late, like I thought. Yo pensé que nos abandonó mi mamá el día de las madres. Muy americano. But she didn't abandon us. ¿Verdad, mamá? No, porque papi quería las flores. Se iba a perder. ¿Verdad? Nosotros estamos celebrando el Día de las Madres Mexicanas. Mm -hmm. I really forgot that today was uh, Mexican Mother's Day. So I'm kind of relieved. Well, not relieved. It's nice to know we're celebrating Mother's Day on Mother's Day, you know? With my mom. What's up, love? So, ahorita ya es la noche. Ahorita ya mero van a ser las 12 de la mañana. Shout out to all the mothers that are watching i just want to remind you that you're doing a great job keep thriving i know being a mother is not easy but it's definitely a blessing también ma yo sé que tú ves mis videos te quiero decir que yo te quiero mucho y agradezco todo lo que haces por mí por todos nosotros tus, de tus hijos y eres una persona muy especial para todos nosotros la vi mom also, before I go, please don't forget to like and share the video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and become part of the channel, part of the squad. We're a squad, okay? We're the hot babe squad. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I'm actually trying to find a nickname for all of us, like for our channel. I was actually thinking about, I don't know if I want to call you babes what's up babes or what's up modelos thinking that maybe i should call you modelos we all come in different sizes we're all different but we're still beautiful so i was thinking that maybe i wanted to call y'all mis modelos i have no idea you guys yeah help me think about what to name our squad but i'm gonna close out the video you guys because i feel like my eyes are shutting off on me i love ya and i will see ya in the next video